What is going on guys, jack 95 Gamer here and I'm back with episode 82 of my West Ham United next gen career mode. And as you can see, Vincent Company of Manchester City, now at the age of 30, is saying that he's not happy at being at Manchester City. He's a bit unsettled and you know, being the team that we are, I think he'll be a great addition to the side. So obviously I'm interested in bringing him to the team and let's see where that goes from there. We're going to inquire about him and see what Manchester City say back at him and I think we're going to scout him too. So. It's hopefully Vincent Company could be a West Ham player by the start of next season. That would be a, a, a dramatic, dramatic switch from the Etihad to Upton Park. So that that could be a great deal for us. But as you can see, we do go into the Barclays Premier League here. Chelsea are now focused entirely onto the Barclays Premier League. We've um, been knocked out by us in the FA Cup and now into the UEFA Champions League too. Obviously, we've got the finals of both of them competitions coming up. And obviously, we've got the BPL. So our schedule is getting more and more hectic. But we do have Southampton here and we do find ourselves at St. Mary's Stadium. Hopefully, we'll get a result. But it would be Southampton that start off as the strongest team here with Rodriguez on the ball. Great bit of footwork there. He's completely forced defender. Puts the ball into Seager and Seager gets his head into that. But that just goes wide of the post there. That was a poor chance miss there but Southampton going to attack it again but off topic there yes Chelsea you would say have a bit more of an advantage now going into the um, title race no obviously they've got nothing left to play for set for the BPL you know they're going to play every single game out and hopeful they get a result here because I don't think they've got any more midweek games coming up they've only got the, um, the flat out Barclays Premier League season you know we've got midweek games and FA Cup finals and you know, Champions Cup finals, it's going to be definitely going to take that toll on us and hopefully we can be hopeful we're going to do a triple this season and it's all going to come at the end of the season but you know, we just don't know how things are going to shape up. Well, Southampton have been dominating this game here, they've had all the opportunities, the ball comes into him yet again, Seager gets his head to it, again that was mirror of his first chance but he does miss into the 45th minute now Morrison picks up the ball for West Ham, he's on the run, he skips past the players while he tries to do love room, he's blocking his path, he does play it into Danny Ings, who's out wide here, he um, cuts back inside and he does put the ball into the box, looking for Ricardo Vastel, does get his head to that, produces a great save from the goalkeeper and the game does remain at 0-0. Into the second half, a corner comes in for West Ham, Ricardo Vastel, and it will be Winston Reid that gets his head to this Ball and he's off celebrating that goal. Great little effort there from Winston Reid, and that's a great goal from our captain. He rose above all, everyone like it was effortless, and no, check this out, that's just great play, great header, and no chance for the goalkeeper in net. West Ham United find themselves 1 0 up at St Mary's, and we're hopeful now we can hold on here. But Southampton have been dominating the game up until now. We're on the attack yet again, though, in the 69th minute. Morrison goes and get, does get tackled there as he tries to find his way into the box, but Ings wins it back. He crosses the ball in after winning a foul. It falls to Ricardo Vazte with the header, and he nearly finds his way into the back of the net, but again, unfortunately, his header is just over the bar there. And West Ham definitely starting to dominate this second half. But as I say, that Southampton coming to attack here with Nathaniel Klein. Klein gets ahead of his man there. Great shrimp shown there from Nathaniel Klein as he finds. Adam Lallana, the English connection in the Southampton team. The ball gets flipped back over the top as Nathaniel Klein who continued his run. Klein gets to try and cross the ball and a great defender from West Ham gets the ball away. But that was a great move from Southampton. I had to put that in there. Wanyama now on the ball here for Southampton as the Kenyan breaks forward. He cuts inside, plays the ball into Modest, but he does get taken out there. You know, and Ramirez falls with the ball here. He's through on goal. Ramirez with the chip effort. You thought he'd go for the finesse. Southampton have squandered a great chance to get back into the game there. And they've um, obviously incidentally stopped themselves from getting the one point there. Gaston Ramirez, what would you think? West Ham will get out of here with all three points. Rather undeservedly, but Winston Reid's goal was the only difference, and we're not going to be complaining about that as the game finishes up at 1-0. Great play from the Hammers. Suso then comes into the office and says, you know, when he signed his contract, you know, we made certain promises with his squad role, and, you know, don't feel fulfilling that. Maybe he feels a little bit threatened by Timo Werner and wants to get a bit more of... A warm feeling left at West Ham. He wants a secure feeling. You know, he, he might not feel secure in his, his spot. So I'm hopeful that we can uh, change his attitude. But Jonathan Tarr, another German talent, that comes into the office and says, basically, can we? Can you do my new contract here? You know, he wants 20k a week. I'm offering 25. You know, he's a great player and he's proven this season that he's a player we can rely on. So we're offering him that contract and we do go to a massive game here against Manchester United in the Barclays Premier League. So bearing in mind, I've got a question of the day coming up here. Is Suso, does Suso have a right to feel threatened? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's going to be a short one here. Well, is Timo Werner putting too much pressure on him? But, you know, he's been performing in the Champions League and in the big games against Chelsea. So, does he even have the right to feel threatened? He will start this game here as West Ham. I've got a two-point lead at the top of the BPL and looking to make it five yet again with a winning over against Manchester City. Hopefully we can do it. But I've got a great team out here. Like I said, Fellaini, Mascherano, Kagawa, Nani, Young, Hernandez. It's a, it's a good Manchester United team. But 10 minutes in, West Ham would hit them on the attack here with Luke Shaw picking that Mario Badate. Badate looks that for that, uh, I believe it was an Oscar run, but he goes and takes a shot anyway. 
and it was a great hand there by Lindegaard in goal. Or was it David De Gea? I think it was Lindegaard because we obviously did sign David De Gea at the start of the season. So Luke Shaw now making his way down the, down the wing. He crosses the ball in to Balotelli. Balotelli, with all the time in the world, takes his shot. Again, that was a great save. And Lucas's follow-up shot is cleared away by Phil Jones eventually. But only as far as our centre-back Stephen Cook, who plays it into Montoya. Montoya now plays it into Junior Milano. Check this out from West Ham United. Great bit of movement there from Mon uh, Milano as he finds Lucas. Lucas finds Strootman. Strootman with the ball. And check that out for a shot. A real-life target for Manchester United, you would believe. Kevin Strootman. Maybe not so much now, but at the start of the window he was. But Kevin Strootman for West Ham United. All that matters. Strikes that shot. And I believe that is his second goal on a West Ham United shot. Sure. Um... Or his first. If, if, if it is his first, then what a way to announce yourself onto your first goal there. Check this out. You know, he got lucky with the deflection, but you know, make no mistake, he's put that straight to the top corner there, and that is no chance of the goalkeeper saving that. West Ham United 1, Manchester United 0. Ball comes over the top now for Shinji Kagawa with a chance. Great shot, well stopped there from Courtois in net. It falls to Kagawa yet again, and great block from Fabian Schart in, in, um, on the goal line there. So, in defence, great play. Shinji Kagawa picked up the ball here for United yet again. He absolutely dodged the challenge then, all of a sudden finds himself through on goal, Shinji Kagawa with the shot, great change there I believe from Luke Shaw, obviously the United player in real life but obviously not in this game. Ashley Young picks up the ball here for United, plays it into Shinji Kagawa, plays it back into uh, Ashley Young, Ashley Young puts the ball in to Nani, Nani with the header but it's easily saved there from Thibaut Courtois in the easy hands there. Lucas now picks up the ball for West Ham, looking to get him on the counter attack, gets very fortunate off the balance of the left back Fabio and he's on the attack here again of his fellow countrymen. He Gets past Phil Jones too easy there. He puts the ball all the way into Mario Balotelli, and we double our lead right on half time there with a goal. And it is obviously MB45. Mario Balotelli is continuing his great season and his great debut season. Well, not his debut, his season back into the Premier League. And his debut for West Ham has been a great one. 50 million, he's now worth probably about 100 million. No, double the price we paid for him. He is just a great talent. As you can see, Ashley Young picks up the ball, trying to get United back into the game in the second half. Mario Flay wins the header, and of course, he finds the back end there with a clinical header. You know, it, typical, typical, typical Mar Marouin Flaney. You know, he's going to get a goal from there. And he beats his fellow countryman in net to Walker Courtois. And United back in the game here at 2 1. 54 minutes in, Luke Shaw picks up the ball here. Great bit of play as he plays it into Kevin Strootman, who shoots from range. And that's a great save there in net from the goalkeeper. And denying Strootman his second of the game. Here comes Young on the ball here for United. Plays in Javier Nani, who gets challenged. It falls all the way back into Fabio. Fabio onto the ball now. He gets past his man. He flicks the ball over the top into Hernandez. Hernandez with the sh oh, goes to the shot, but that's a great save from Thibaut Courtois on that occasion. 89 minutes in now. West Ham are looking like they're going to be holding on on the attack here. Again, Henry Lansby through on goal. Lansby shoots from range. Great save there from the goalkeeper. And again, I don't know how this game is 2-1. We've had a, a whole host of chances, but we just can't find the back of the net in this one. And it's been a very frustrating episode for uh, goals-wise. As you can see, Lucas picks up the ball here. He Trying to make something work. Great bit of skill, you know. He, he, he's getting away from his defenders all the way, but Stephen Corker tackles him on his way back and he completely stops his, his momentum going forward. He picks the ball up yet again. He looks to play it back into the path of Henry Lansbury. Lansbury picks up the ball, plays it into Balotelli. Balotelli's now got all the space in the ball to get the shot away. Balotelli, he takes the deflection and safe into the hands of Lindegaard and that he goes into the back of it. So, would you admit that we've had a Champions League hangover in this game? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, guys, this is going to bring an end to the episode. I'm going to leave you with the squad report. If you see a player you want to see how much they've grown, make sure you pause it in the video on their stats because we'll be here all day looking at their stats otherwise. Anyway, if you did like the video, guys, please make sure you do obviously click that like button down below on the video as it really does help my channel grow and shows me you are enjoying the series. If you want to see more next-gen content and see how West Ham United finish the season in style, or if they do, do the triple. No, the triple is definitely still on the cards. And make sure you hit that subscribe button in the top corner of the video as you will be notified whenever the next video is uploaded. And as always, guys, have a very nice day. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.